hanging star question. Looks like someone's necklace or can be the lights hanging on your wall or roof, you know, Christmas lights and all those kind of things. Or it could be just earphones hanging on your ears. Same thing. You know, it's very painful if you drop your phone while you're wearing earphones because you suddenly pull and it's like, ow, my ears. Sometimes you break your earphones. Anyway, so this one, an object hangs by two cords around two rods. It almost looks like a pulley system if you want to think of it that way. Double pulley. Object weights 10 newton. Oh, we should write that down. 10 newton. Okay. There's negligible friction. Ah, so that tells us something about uh, the pulley rods. Negligible friction uh, between the rod and the cord. Angle is 90 degrees. So the angle is between this, uh, this one here. Which row of the table gives an angle of 90? Wow, they give us a bunch of values for F. What is F? F, in this case, is that force there. Okay, let's draw more forces. Look at the, the F1 on the left side. That is balanced by a tension upwards. T1. Okay, so in this case, T1 equals to F1, lah, just so you know, because it's in equilibrium. Same with the one on the right side, F2. There's a T2 and they are both equal. T2 equals F2. Now, if you think of your pulley stuff, when you go over the rod, it's kind of like a pulley wheel. So you have the same tension 1 and same tension 2, which is also F1 and F2. Here comes the question. What are those forces? 9, 10, 6, 4, 8, how do you know? Now, I want you to do this. Pause the video. Go play around with that GeoGebra app thing, drag the things around and try to decide which one you think is the correct answer for this case. Okay, pause it, try whatever method, calculation, play with the simulation and come back and take a look how to finish this problem. Okay, here's the fastest way to do it. You could use math maybe but it's very hard because we don't know the exact length of strings. They didn't give it to us. So we cannot do it. Oh, resolve component and things like that. So calculation is hard. There's a way to guesstimate your way, but not recommended. So in this case, what we could do though is draw a vector triangle. Like the one we looked at in the previous simulation. First things first, I'm going to move T2 over to this side. Something like that. Okay, and this will also be right angle. So what I have now is a T1, a T2. Oh, so out of shape. And then the weight. So T1 plus T2 should equal to the weight. So I should draw a weight like that. Why is that true? Because of equilibrium. So if you use vectors, you write it in vector language, you should say the weight vector equals to T1 plus T2. Of course, we will take into account all their components. Ah, but this is the main idea, what we're trying to do. So, we have a vector triangle now. Here's one misconception a lot of people have. They will say, Oh, yo, look at T1, the string is so long. Therefore, T1 must be bigger. Long. T2 must be smaller. No, 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 no. That's a misconception. Okay, Length does not necessarily correspond to angle, it should uh, correspond to the tension. This is just a diagram only, it's not a force diagram. So don't say, oh, the string longer means longer tension, uh, larger tension, no, no, no. But what we do know is from this diagram, how they relate. Hey, look, it's a right angle triangle, so you can use Pythagoras theorem. W square equals to T1 square, magnitude only, uh, plus T2 square. So you need to check through the table. What combination will give you 10 square equals to what square plus what square? So to, you can try one by one or if you already memorize your Pythagoras pairs, that will actually be 8 and 6. So this is out. So 8 and 6, which is which? Mm. Which one will have a larger tension? In this case, T2 will actually have the larger tension. So this one will be C. 
why is that okay for that we need to go to the simulation but i'll try to explain it now uh t2 where's my highlighter ah there t2 is much closer to the pulley or the rod whereas t1 is quite far away from the rod so if this is only for unbalanced angle so both sides the angle is different so if the object is nearer to the rod on the right then that one will have a larger tension why is that let's take a look at the simulation again welcome back to GeoGebra. here we are on the mode where we adjust the angle individually so at first we look at how both side angle is the same but now angle is not the same on one side we come like that so the same idea applies okay let's believe it at this misbalanced angle the total weight down is 12 newtons so the vertical components of both tension force have to add up to become 12 so 8.6 plus 3.4 is 12 so no matter what angle it is okay you have to add up both so you see how if the block becomes very close to this second anchor you need a lot of force over there to tap out everything <laughs> tap out tap out means you uh, kind of take care of the vertical component if i change it all the way pretty much this is the only string that's carrying most of the weight the other string is just chilling over there we can see this uh, more clear through this one this simulation here so if you're in the middle, they are both sharing the load pretty equally, sharing the weight. But if you move nearer to one side, this string is going to take much more of the vertical load because this string is more vertical. If you move it all the way, this string is pretty much doing nothing because this weight is already uh, this weight is already taken care of by this vertical tension here, fully fully vertical. Okay, now watch carefully as I move this object to the left a little bit. Now, as I move to the left, this blue force is getting less vertical, so we'll need the help of the green force to contribute some vertical to it, some vertical component, and then like that. Look. So if you're nearer to this side, this force is going to be quite big. If you're right underneath, then it's pretty much this string, you can cut it, nothing will change. Notice how this diagram on the right changes the triangle forces as I move the object near to the middle. Okay, At first, the blue force is pretty much the same size as the red, but then it starts to get smaller and the green starts to contribute a little more. Okay, Moral of the story, the takeaway is, if an object is right in, the, uh, right in the middle like this, up here or down here, both strings contribute equally. Okay, Like that, equal, equal. But if you tilt it nearer to one side or the other, then one string will contribute more to the vertical component. And that's all for today about strings and tensions.